Today, I want to sit with you guys and conversate about four things that I think are maybe crucial or important to me when it comes to the story of Black Ops 6. We know that the story takes place in the 1990s. We have an idea of some of the main characters that are going to be in the story. And I think that some issues maybe need to be addressed. One of the things that I'm concerned about or wanting to see more of is Russell Adler. Now, we didn't get all that much information about him in Cold War. And I think that was the point. He was supposed to be mysterious. We don't know exactly how he got those scars in his face. We don't know exactly who he truly is. We don't even know that his name is actually Russell Adler. We don't know where he comes from. We just know that he served in Vietnam and he has a couple friends. But outside of that, we don't know him at all. And so to really get a backstory on him would be crucial in terms of confirmation because we can talk and I can come up with ideas and speculate on who he might be. We can find information online and create a story so far for Russell Adler. We can do that, but we don't have real confirmations of what what kind of person he is, who he was born to, how did he become so good at his job. And so I think we need to see a Russell Adler arc maybe in its entirety and maybe conclude in this game with Black Ops 6 because I'm pretty sure if we do the math correctly from the time that we think Russell Adler was born uh, to the time it's going to be in 1990, Russell Adler is somewhere in his late 50s, I believe, if not early 60s when the game rolls around. Does he look like he's that age? No, he looks like a strong 40, but ages in Call of Duty have always been a little weird. We've conversated a bit about that before, but I think Russell Adler, you know, kind of ending his is time in Call of Duty in Black Ops 6 might be the right way to go because he will not be able to continue to operate into his 70s, into his late 60s, I don't believe. So I think that we might see a Russell Adler conclusion in Black Ops 6, or at least that's something that maybe I would like to see. I'd like to see his backstory, where he came from, and just a lot of growth in the character, and then maybe ending his time in Call of Duty. I don't know, maybe through a death, maybe through something else, but I think we just need a conclusion on 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 Russell Adler and we need to know who he is exactly and I really want to know where he was during the events of Black Ops 2. I really want to know what his connection is because now in the 80s Russell Adler, Alex Mason, Frank Woods, Hudson, they were all pretty close when it came to friendships in that game and so that game takes place in the 80s and then in the mid 80s Alex Mason comes out of retirement to come help Russell Adler. So this is, I mean they're, they're pretty good friends so I want to see how Adler connects to the events of the 80s in Black Ops 2 and I really hope that that also gets addressed and that also gets talked about. Now this is a perfect segue into my next point. How does the game connect to or lead to the later events of Black Ops 2? And by that I mean the events of 2025. We know that a remaster is coming for next year for Black Ops 2 and I got a feeling that remaster is going to change a couple things and might mention Russell Adler in the game more than the original did. I mean the original never mentioned him. So I want to know how the game connects. Is there anything that's going to happen? in Black Ops 6 or anything that a character does that leads to what's going to occur later in 2025. Could that be when we see David Mason? Could that be a slight nod at Raul Menendez? Could that be uh, the beginning of Cortis Die or, or, or something like that? I don't know. Like maybe the seeds began to be planted for that organization. I want to know how it connects because it has to connect. And in, in some way, shape or form, I think it has to because it takes place in the 90s. It's set before the game or at least set before the 2025 events of the game. So it's just, I don't know, it's it's it's, it's something that I want to see because I, I like to see continuation. I love the story modes. I love when campaigns connect things and especially when it's part of the same series like Black Ops. So I want to know how that happens. I honestly want to treat these games like I would any other story franchise. So please, I just want to know how they connect. But another thing that I would really like to see addressed is Alex Mason's canon ending. And I think that all fans want to see that. And we have maybe half of the fans who believe they know the canon ending to be Alex Mason was shot in the head and he died. And I think we have the other half of the fans believe that the canon ending is where Alex Mason was shot in the leg and he disappeared for, you know, 30 years and he came back at the end of Black Ops 2 to meet his son David and to see uh, Frank Woods again. And it's split and we still don't have a definitive answer. Nobody has been able to answer this question for over 10 years and even the devs announcing it quote unquote on their pod, that doesn't give us any confirmation. It doesn't because they're not serious about it. They're not going to divulge that information in a podcast that maybe some fans watch, maybe most fans won't watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to happen. So really, finally seeing the actual canon ending to 
Alex Mason story is going to be really good because it'll give a lot of fans closure if he really truly is dead. They're going to know for sure that he's dead and they can just quietly move on and mourn one of their favorite characters. Now, if they decide to go with the other ending where maybe Alex Mason does survive and somehow he shows himself to Russell Adler and shows himself to maybe some of the CIA agents and they put him in deep, deep cover, you know, some parts of Europe, then okay, you know, that's going to rattle some feathers. That's going to make a lot of people happy, but it's going to make a lot of people angry as well because Alex Mason is one of those fan favorite iconic characters of Call of Duty. He is the face of Black Ops. And so a mishandled situation when it comes to Alex Mason, like mishandling his character, might go or will go very wrong with a lot of fans. And I think that Call of Duty is going to get people angry no matter what. Now, what canon ending would I prefer? I don't know. I mean, I want more Alex Mason. I want to play with him more. But it seems very odd that he wouldn't have died. Because like when, when we see Alex Mason laid out, bloodied, next to his son, where Raul Menendez is killing Jason Hudson, and he's torturing Woods, I don't see... That Mason, if he was shot in the leg, why wouldn't he get up and help? Why wouldn't he try to fight? You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't pretend to be dead. He wouldn't just lay there and wait for Hudson to get his throat slashed, wait for Woods to get his ass beat, and then leave Menendez there alive. Did Woods pick up David and crawl to safety? What happened to Alex Mason? How long was he knocked out for? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily make sense. And I don't know how you would spin it in a way that he didn't die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get it unless you incorporate something about bringing him back from the dead. Uh, but yeah, so I, I suppose the more common sense answer would be that Alex Mason really is dead. And honestly, I just want them to address it. I want them to confirm which one it is so we can finally move on after 10 years. <laughs> now, finally, the last thing that I would like to see in this year's campaign, this year's story, is a proper continuation of the events of the game in Warzone. Because we know that they're going to incorporate Warzone into the story. They always do this now. It is a given. So we know we're going to get our six, seven hour campaign and we know we're going to get a bunch of content in Warzone related to the story. Now, Call of Duty Cold War continued the story in Warzone to a T. It was almost perfect. I mean, you knew what characters to follow, you knew what was going on, and there was one villain, and there were the good guys, and you had to stop the villain. And that was it. Continue the story, and it set you up for the next game. And and I love that. It was, it was so well done. You got new cinematics. You got new interactions. The mission, I mean, everything was just great. You know, that was great. And I want to see that implemented in Black Ops 6. Because like everything else in Modern Warfare 3, they couldn't even do a continuation of the story in Warzone correctly. They kept going back to flashbacks where Soap was doing missions and he became this powerful green guy. And then Makarov came and he started, you know, going to Rebirth Island. And it made no sense whatsoever. We we, we didn't see Captain Price have cinematics with anybody. We didn't see Kate Laswell. We didn't see Ghost or Gaz. We, we didn't see Graves' real continuation. It was just awful. I, I don't know what Warzone was to MW3. I don't know what the hell the MW3 story was. I don't know what the Warzone continuation of it was either. It just made no sense and it was awful. So because of that, it left a bad taste in my mouth and I don't want to see that implemented in Black Ops 6. I want Black Ops 6 to do exactly what they did with Cold War. And if they're going to continue the story, which I know that they are, then do it properly. Give us what you gave us before. New cinematics, new new lore. Uh, help the story grow. Make it better. Make it bigger. And set us up for what's coming next. That's what I want to see. A proper story continuation of Black Ops 6 in Warzone. So those are some of the things that I'm really excited for with this new release. You know, Black Ops 6 is right on the horizon and, and I'm very excited to see these four things addressed. What are some things that you want to see addressed in Black Ops 6?